Hi, and welcome to another Internet Freedom Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to cover downloading and using UltraSurf. UltraSurf is a program that tunnels through firewalls so that you can view material, websites, information, uh, stuff that's online that normally wouldn't be available where you're accessing the internet from. Uh, UltraSurf also protects your privacy by hiding your IP address and immediately deleting your internet history, your browsing history after you close the program. So let's get started and learn about how to use this program. The first thing you're going to want to do, as with everything, is get the program. So you're going to open up your preferred internet browser, and I'm using Firefox, and you're going to go to www.ultrareach.com. Okay, on the UltraReach site, well, UltraSurf site, you can check out their downloads page, the user center for a, a frequently asked questions, uh, the background about the program, and the about page about the people who produce the program. So, and as you can see here, it protects your privacy, protects your security, and grants you freedom. All we need to do here is click the big button that says UltraSurf 9.92 free download. And this is the most up-to-date version of the program. You're going to save the file. And uh, I'm using Windows 7 here, so it's going to save to somewhere a little different. Um, but this program also works for the older versions of Windows as well. Windows XP, Windows 2000, uh, and uh, Windows Vista. So you don't have to worry about that. It all works pretty much the same way. It's just my file structure is going to be a little different. Okay, so that's downloaded. I'm going to close that out. And I don't even need this browser open anymore, so I'll close that out. And then I'm going to go find my file. So I'm going to go in here to Downloads, and the file saves in a compressed or zipped file. So if you don't have an operating system that automatically decompresses these so that you can see the files on the inside, you're going to need to get something like WinZip or 7-Zip in order to open up the file. But since I'm using Windows 7, I can just double click it, and there's my file. It's a self-contained program. And what this means is that you don't have to install it. There's no installation necessary. It doesn't put any extra files on your computer. All you need to do is run it. But before I run it, I'm going to copy it and put it on my desktop for right now. So I'm going to paste that here. One of the great things about UltraSurf is that you can put it on a USB thumb drive and take it with you anywhere. So if you want to go out to a coffee shop and you want to use a computer there and uh, you still want to be secure online, you can put the program on the USB drive, take it there, plug it in, and use the self-contained browser and you'll be just as secure as you are at home. Alright, so here you can see the icon of the sailboat going around the earth and all we have to do here is double click run it it'll pop up the user interface and then bring up a browser okay, I'm going to minimize the browser for right now now when you open it for the first time you're going to get this uh, the option to choose one of these boxes here I just clicked the first one and it connects to the server so if you have a problem you can try reconnecting to the server so it'll contact and then I'm successfully connected to the server. There's options here, which lets you set a couple of different uh, parameters for the program. You can start Internet Explorer automatically, which is what you just saw happen. Uh, you can have it close uh, Internet Explorer as soon as you exit the program, delete your history, delete your cookies, and you can hide the golden lock down here, which shows you that UltraSurf is actually running. You can also set your own proxy settings. I'm not going to get into that now since we're just worried about getting it up and running and being secure with uh, the least amount of trouble. I'm just going to click OK here. So this is running and the Internet Explorer browser that it popped up is the browser that you want to use because this is the secure one and um, I won't have you take me on faith on that one. I'll show you it's secure. I'm going to open up my Firefox browser again and I'm going to go to www.whatismyip.com Now the IP address that comes up here 
is going to be my actual real IP address. Obviously, I've blocked out some of the numbers because while I'm trying to teach you to be secure, I also want to be secure as well. So you can see the numbers here, that's my real IP address. So I'm going to minimize this and open up the UltraSurf browser. I'm going to go to www.whatismyip.com. Now on the UltraSurf browser, you can see that this is obviously different. The first and last numbers are very much different than the first and last numbers here. So your IP address is safe, your information is safe, and you've been able to access websites and information that you weren't normally able to access. But you're done and you want to close everything out. Now you could regularly just go up here and close your browser. That would be fine, but you don't even have to do that. All you have to do is close the UltraSurf program. It closes the browser, removes the lock down here, and erases all the information that you were even using UltraSurf on your computer. Um, and that's all there is to using UltraSurf. Uh, this has been a tutorial by Freedom House's Internet Freedom Team, and I hope you found it useful.